Thanks for checking out Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. I'm Kurt, and today we're going to take a look at our ultralight rectangle tarp made with Dyneema composite fabric. So this is the, the 12 foot version, uh, weighs 10 ounces with the stuff sack, and uh, there's three different sizes, a 10 foot, 11 foot, and a 12 foot. And um, I'm going to get this set up and I'll show you uh, how I'm making these and uh, what all it comes with. All right, so I've got the tarp set up behind me here. I just want to show you real quick. Um, just basically the configuration and the options and how you can do this. So this is made exactly like our sill poly tarps. Um, 12 tie out points. So if you can do something like a, a porch mode like I kind of have here. I got the sides dipped down. This is how I usually set up. You can see it gives you a nice square edge. This is 0.51 ounce Dyneema composite fiber and let's see if you can make that out there got the reinforcements and then for the ridge line I want to talk about that for a minute so let's look at the seam real quick uh, just like the sill poly tarps we stitch and then seam seal and there, there's a reason why I'm doing it on the Dyneema so Dyneema you can bond this with adhesive okay so you could make, I could, if I really wanted to, make this a bonded piece so there's no stitch whatsoever in the seam. The reason why I did go with the stitch and then seam method is uh, for structure, for support, and for longevity. So I did a few tests with the Dyneema, just stitching it, just taping it, and then both. And if you just stitch it and you put any tension on it, it will uh, kind of snap back kind of into shape, but you do open up holes. Um, if you just bond, some of the, the, the tape I've seen, some of the bonding tape uh, states that it does well in the cold, but will uh, cause what, what they call creep when it gets warm. So if it's out in the sun, it's got too much tension on it, it could actually start to slide against itself um, some tape I saw says well it doesn't really creep in when it's warm but when it gets cold it could just outright fail so um, I the chances of it they always say is low but um, I didn't want to take that chance so the the recommended way is to stitch and to tape so underneath here this has got a one inch piece of Dyneema tape, which bonds to, which bonds right to the Dyneema on either side. It keeps that stitch from pulling and the stitch creates a long lasting uh, anchor point between the two seams so that they don't want to creep at all. So that tape should be forever. Once it bonds to the Dyneema, it's bonded. So this should never need uh, another taping or seam sealing. Um, if I don't seam seal uh, down the edges, down the hems, or at the tie outs, because they're not over the hammock, and I don't do that on the cell poly tarps either. And I've never had it leak. If you want it to, you could, you could do that. So this is a very, very big tarp, uh, 12 by, it's about eight and a half uh, eight and three quarters uh, the, because of the, this, the, the hems and the selvage on either end that you got to deal with. So it's a little bit narrower than the cell polys, but it's still plenty big. With the 12 tie outs, you can do this into a door mode. That's kind of why I did the porch mode here, just kind of show you what you can do. So if you're going to have bad enough weather, instead of having the poles underneath here, you can pull these down. You can take these pull them all the way in, do that on both sides. And you've got protection all the way around. Um, you could also take this to ground and use it as a, as a tent if you need it to. Just bring it down, use your trekking poles on either side or uh, trees if your hammock failed or something like that. Um, or you're like me, I've forgotten my tree straps before. <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> I was able to make do, but if I had to, I could have gone to ground with my tarp. Uh, so there's a lot of options with the setup with this. So why would you choose Dyneema over Sil Poly? Um, ultralight, 
10.1 ounces for a 12 foot tarp that's with the stuff stack and the, the shock cord loops. Um, on, well, that was just the ones on the ridge line. Uh, so super light. Dyneema is super, super strong. It's stronger than steel, ounce for ounce. So it's a very, very tough material. And it's got, I, I don't know if it's absolutely zero, but very, very, very low water absorption. Because of the way this is made, it is a composite fabric. So it is Dyneema fused to uh, a plastic sheeting or a plastic type sheeting um, on both sides. So water's not gonna get into that. Even the best silt poly you can find will get a little bit of water absorption. This will not, all water will run off. So if I knew it was gonna rain, I'd pull my doors down. I'd probably bring out this second one and just make sure everything was nice and taut. Water's gonna run right off it. So in the morning, you're ready to pack up and hit the trail. You can just shake it off. If you got like a chamois or a spare shirt or something, you can actually wipe it down, get all the water off of it, pack it away, and you're good to go. Um, I will show you the pack down because that's one of the, everything's got pros and cons, right? So one of the the, pro, the, the cons or the, the downsides, I guess, not, it's not really a con, but the downsides of Dyneema uh, is the cost. It is way more expensive than Sil Poly. Um, and it doesn't compress. So unlike Sil Poly or Sil Nylon, um, it, you can just have it in the stuff sack and just cram it in there and it will fit. Uh, Dyneema does not compress like that. So what you have to do is you have to kind of lightly fold it, roll it up and then put it in the stuff sack. So the stuff sack is a little bit bigger. You can kind of pack it down a little tighter. Um, it is prone to creasing. So you don't want to fold the same way every time. And over the life of it, it's going to crinkle a little bit. It gets a little more opaque, a little, a little less see-through. Um, but it's just, everything's got trade-offs to, for that, to get that lightness, um, it's got to be built that way. So it really comes down to what you're looking for. If you're looking for that lightweight, Dyneema is definitely the way to go. So again, this is the 12 foot version. Um, walk underneath it one more time here. So this is the heaviest it's going to get at 10.1 ounces with the stuff sack, which is great. If, uh, so if I put, I'm gonna put my, uh, I'll hang my coyote pack up underneath here, which is 11 foot hammock, and just show you how much space you really get underneath there. All right, so here it is with the coyote pack underneath there, and you can see you've got plenty of coverage here. So much room, so much room. So that is a look at our ultralight rectangle tarp, the Ulrecht, um, made with Dyneema composite fiber. Super excited about these. Not much else to say about a tarp, it's only 10 ounces at that size. So thanks for checking out the video and checking out Hemlock Mountain Outdoors. Go outside, have some fun, have yourself an adventure. Stay safe.